all right welcome guys welcome guys welcome guys okay in the last tutorial we did we worked on setting up our levels on Revit architecture and we're able to do something like this okay today we are gonna go straight to the design remember we are working on a two bedroom bungalow design all right we'll be heading straight to the next stage of the project we've created our levels we'll pick the lowest level which is a natural ground level we'll be starting our design from this level and uh, we'll click on our natural ground level okay now what do we do next since we have a sketch a rough sketch of our plan of the building plan maybe in a small piece of paper or in our minds whichever way you would like to have yours we then move straight to placing the walls the, place the walls where they should be to create the building project all right you click on walls on the architectural menu here on the architecture menu here you click on walls and like we said uh, this is a new project we have to do all the setups to ensure we get a desirable project a desirable plan okay now the default one of the default walls we have in Revit architecture is uh, basic wall generic 200 so we have so many sizes of wall if you click here you see there are so many we have generic 150 millimeter by 3 200 millimeter 200 millimeter field and there are so many of them all right uh in this part of the world in uh, this part of the world here the common sizes of blocks we use of walls we use we use 150 millimeter we use 125 millimeter we use uh, 100 millimeter we use uh, 225 millimeter and sometimes we use 200 millimeters um, for this particular project we are going to be creating a unique kind of wall for ourselves and we're going to edit the properties to ensure we get what we have in mind okay we come to edit type edit type and uh, we'll come to duplicate we'll create a copy of this and then model it cre recreate it or redefine its property to get what we really want now when we click duplicate we'll have to create a name for what we're going to be working on uh, we'll be working on a 150 millimeter wall 150 millimeter wall which is we'll rename 150 millimeter and uh, on a personal this is my own personal opinion if that wall is going to be painted white either in or out or both in and out i prefer naming that particular kind of wall with the color it carries um, there are some situations whereby inside the wall might be a different color outside the wall might be a different color but i like using a particular name color type to name the walls i'm creating okay going ahead with that that like i said earlier that is my own pattern makes things easier for me you can develop your own pattern or make your own choice after using the software for some time and understanding how to go around the software okay like this i will name this 150 millimeter white because i want to use 
a white color on the wall so when i see 150 millimeter white i will know that this wall is 150 millimeter and is carrying a white color okay i click ok then that is not all i just renamed it i've not done anything to the wall yet if you can see here it is still 200 remember we just duplicate and i renamed all right i will come to edit here i will edit the structure the thickness and i'll select what kind of material now i click here and i rename i i I correct this thickness of the wall to 150 and I come to material here there's a small knob here I click and it sends it, it opens this box for me it might not open for you it might come out this way in yours when it comes out this way you click this and it opens in full dimension like this to you all right then i'm gonna this this is a market for material that is what i call it it's called project material project materials i i i do nickname it my material market so i come to this place to buy whatever material i want to buy all right i look i search for white so i would not want to waste time i search for white okay these are materials that are made up of white paint white color so i select anyone or preferably i pick select and rename them and rename or duplicate i have a duplicate copy of this already so i will just rename these to be white so that whenever I want it, I can just come here to my material market and then uh, um, pick white. All right, that's that. I pick white, but this is not a material market. It is called project material. So I select this under graphics. I will ensure that this is ticked. Use render appearance then i click this color here i click the color here okay sorry after ensuring that this is ticked i come to appearance to view what i'm getting okay All right this is a white material to properly see that material you selected you come to appearance to view clearly now i click color no take note of this original and new i want to increase the brightness the sharpness of the white color you notice the new is getting more whiter moving it down is getting more darker so i brought you here so that you can see how to change the, the 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 color to select the kind of color you want all right when i'm done i click ok apply and ok all right that is that about that click ok ok again so on the property browser here the property browser here it, it's already renamed 150 white we can use this system to create other kinds of block type 225 200 125 100 etc and all that color types all right i think that is that for this video that is that for this video i would like you would like to encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and even share it to your friends who 
wants to who wants to learn Revit architecture and hit the notification button so that you get updated whenever we have a new update for Revit tutorial for you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead.